This is an Insignia training video covering the basic maintenance of a Domino laser coder, specifically cleaning the lens and changing the filters. Maintenance of your Domino laser coder is important to ensure your machine runs efficiently and effectively. Without tending to the general wear and tear of the coder means its performance and coding quality can significantly decrease as well as incurring avoidable costs. I will now explain how to clean a lens on a Domino laser coder. Having a clean lens means your codes can be of the highest quality. Failing to clean the Domino laser lens means that dirt can become baked on the lens and it is nearly impossible to remove, resulting in a reduced code quality and often a damaged lens. Cleaning the lens is simple. Firstly, you'll need to turn the laser off. Disarm it by using the key and then push the button in. Using a lens cleaning wipe, Wipe the lens in a circular motion from the centre outwards. Starting in the middle and moving out means any dirt is pushed to the outside of the lens. Make sure you do not touch the lens with your fingers as the oil from your fingertips will stick to the glass. If you do touch it, simply wipe it over with another lens cleaning wipe. If you don't clean off the finger marks, it can bake onto the lens and cause further issues. It is recommended you clean the lens once a month. I will now explain how to change the filters in a domino extraction unit. Changing your domino laser filter is important so your machine can continue to run smoothly. When changing a filter, make sure the extractor is turned off and is also turned off at the wall. As the filters can be toxic, changing the laser filters requires PPE. You must wear gloves, a mask and safety glasses. To change a bag filter, Firstly, take the filter out of the extractor. Place this old filter in the bag provided with the new filter and tie it off with a zip tie. When inserting a new filter bag, place the opening over the spigot. The opening will be either a large metal ring or a smaller rubber ring depending on your model. To change the desiccate filter above the bag filter, Unlock it by using the handle beneath it and the filter will drop down. Pull the filter out like a drawer using the handle. These filters can be heavy so ensure you are using correct lifting techniques. Dispose the entire filter and replace with a new one simply by sliding it in and locking it in using the handle. You'll know when the filter bag is dirty by its colour. This colour will depend on what you're coating. For example, if you're coating on a green substrate, the filter bag will turn green. To see how dirty the desiccate filter is, you can see any colour changes by sliding it out and looking on the underside of it. Alternatively, through opening the extractor to see how full the filter is, you can view the status through the bar graphs on the extractor's screen. Though it is dependent on the amount of coating you're doing and the substrate, you will usually change the bag filter three to four times a year and the desiccate filter once per year. Dispose of your old filters according to your local government's guidelines. In this video, we've shown you how to perform basic maintenance on your Domino laser, including cleaning the lens and changing the bag and desiccate filters. Make sure you always turn the machines off and wear appropriate PPE. If you have any questions or are experiencing any issues with your laser coder, ring our support team on 1800 804 445 or email service at insignia.com.au.